Obtaining access through the appropriate calyx is essential for successful percutaneous renal surgery. An upper pore nephrostomy tract provides a direct access down the renal pelvis and ureter, which is often essential for treating complex renal calculi and other intrarenal or proximal ureteral pathology. We present our experience with a percutaneous needle renal displacement technique for easy puncture of the superior calyx and to decrease intrathoracic morbidity. A patient with an upper pore renal calculi with the need of a direct upper pore approach, but the kidney is very high. We perform a central calyx puncture. Then, a hydrophilic guide wire is inserted to protect ureterium from the needle distal end and the proximal end of the needle is pushed in the cephalic direction so the kidney is pushed caudally by the lever maneuver and we had a renal displacement of many centimeters the body of the needle is gradually bent and fixed to the drape The upper pole approach is easier between the 12th and the 11th rib. This patient presents both upper and lower pole calculi, malrotated kidney associated with ureteral pelvic junction obstruction. The kidney is very high and very mobile, so the puncture of the lower calyx was difficult. We perform a medial renal puncture for cranial renal displacement. The needle proximal end is pushed caudally. By moving the needle upward or backward, we can change calyx orientation, and the kidney is fixed, and more is the lower calyx puncture. A hydrophilic guide wire is inserted and caudal renal displacement. The upper pole renal calculi is still higher and another puncture and caudal renal displacement. So we had a renal displacement of many centimeters and upper renal calculi is more accessible between the 12th and 11th rib. Because of the needle renal displacement technique, the percutaneous upper pole renal approach became our route of choice in our daily practice.